Hi, I'm Maggie Weldon from Maggie'sCrochet.com, and this Alpaca Dance shawl is sponsored by Premier Yarns. Alpaca Dance is a very, very soft mohair look yarn, and it's 75% um, acrylic and 25% alpaca. And this is great for afghans or throws or accessories, uh, like you name it. It's good for a lot of things. It's a number four medium weight yarn, and it comes in 20 gorgeous colors. Um, it's, this is a three and a half ounce skein, so you have quite a few yards in here. There's actually 371 yards. And it's hand wash yarn. And the skill level for this um, shawl is intermediate, but it kind of looks kind of easy to me, um, like leaning towards easy. The um, size is 32 inches, like from the back of your neck to the bottom at the back. And then across, it would be, um, let me see, I think it's 64 inches across, which is 163 centimeters. So the materials that you'll need for this are two skeins of Alpaca Dance, and the color is 0016, which is called Silver Fog. But all these other colors would look beautiful too. I love this color. I love a lot of these colors. Um, the crochet hook that I'm going to use in this video is an H8 or a 5 millimeter or you'll um, use whatever size you need to obtain gauge and gauge really isn't super important when you're doing a shawl like this and then additionally you'll need a yarn needle and that's it and the links to everything are listed below and let's get started on your lesson here is a close-up of the luna moss shawl and it started right here at the center back and it's worked in rows and uh, now that I look at it closer I realize that there are front and back post double crochet stitches in this so it definitely is an intermediate skill. So I am going to show you rows 1 through 6 and then rows 7 through 39 will repeat rows 5 and 6 and then I will show you how to do rows 40 and 41, which is this beautiful little ruffled border. So to get started, you will need the alpaca yarn, and I will be using um, the color Petal Pink. It's like one of my favorite colors. There's a lot of beautiful colors in this yarn and I'll be using a Deborah Norville crochet wood hook size H and I love these because they're warm and very light to work with so to start out I need to create this tiny little uh, row right here and to do that I'll make a slip knot and then I'll chain four And then it says to work 11 double crochets in the fourth chain from hook. So I count one, two, three, four, or else it's the first chain that I made. So I just do 11 double crochets in that fourth chain from hook. There's two, Okay, so if I look, I don't count this, I count each double crochet stitch. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I just need one more. And that's my eleven double crochets in the fourth chain from hook. And I can pull that later on before I sew this end in, I can pull that little chain tighter and sew my end in. But for right now, on to row two. So I chain three and turn like this 
And I skip the first double crochet and I front post double crochet over the next two double crochets. So it's an it's called an X F P D, which is for an X. Um, it's a crossed front post double crochet. So to do that, it tells you first to skip this stitch and then to work a cross front post double crochet, you skip the next stitch. So it's where you, you're going to skip this stitch and then you're going to work a cross front post double crochet over the next two stitches. So in those directions, it tells you to skip this stitch and front post around this stitch right here. So instead of going underneath those two loops like I usually do, I'm going to go around it. So I'm going to go from front to back and then from back back out to the front like that. So I'm working around the post. So that's why it's called a front post double crochet. Then I'm going to yarn over and bring that loop up, yarn over, draw through two, and yarn over, draw through two. So that's my front post double crochet. Now to cross over, you go back and work a front post double crochet over the skip stitch or around the skip stitch. So now I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go back to the skipped double crochet right here and I'm going to work a front post on the skip double crochet. So like this and like this. So that's a crossed front post double crochet and that's actually the first time I've ever done that. So now you chain two and repeat from star four times more. So one, two, chain two, and then you, so now I'm going to be working four more X front post double crochet stitches or cross front post. So that's going to be over these two. So it's one, two, three, and four. So it's over my next four sets of two double crochets. So again, I'm going to, I did my chain two. I'm going to, I'm not going to work in these stitches where I work the front post and I'm going to skip the next double and I'm going to front post around the next double like that. And now I am going to front post around the skip double, which is back here. So I'm working and I'm inserting my hook around the back of the double. Then I'm bringing a loop up and then I'm completing a double crochet like that. So there's my second X and then I chain two again. And then if you look at the next two stitches, I need to work over these two. So I'm going to go, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to do a front post around this one. And then I'm going to go back to my skipped one and work a front post like that. And then I'm going to work over these two next. I'm going to skip this one, work a front post around this one, and go back and work a front post around the skipped one. And then I'm going to work over these two next. I'm going to work in that one. Then I'm going to do a front post around the skipped one right in there like that. Oh, I've been forgetting my chain twos last couple ones. Okay. You got to have a chain two space between each one. Okay. So chain two. Then over these, I'm going to work a front post here. I'm going to work a front post back on my skipped one right there. Chain two every time. And then I'm going to work over these two. I'm going to skip this one and work into this one. And then I'm going to go back and work a front post around the skipped one like that. Nice. Okay. So at the end of this repeat, it says to, it ends with a chain two 
And then it says double crochet in the last stitch. So my last stitch is actually the loops of the starting chain. So I'm just going to go and see I see this was my first loop, my second loop, my third loop, and my fourth loop. So I'm going to go into that fourth loop and work a double crochet stitch like that. So this is the row two of this. So see how the little X stitches are in here? And some colors, depending on their dyes, like what's in the ingredients of their dyes or whatever, this one seems a little bit thicker. So um, it's just a difference in manufacturing the way it is. Because this is real light in here and more airy looking than what I have. But anyway, it's still going to be beautiful. Okay, so now I am going to um, chain three and turn. And then it says to back post double crochet around each of next two post stitches and then chain two. Okay, so now I'm gonna, um, this is the right side of my work and now I'm gonna turn and it says to chain three and then back post around the next two. Okay, so these two post stitches back here, now I need to back post around them. Back post double crochet. So I yarn over, I insert my hook from back to front and then front to back around that post stitch right there. And on the other side, you can see it there. And I'm working around the side of it like that. And then I complete a double crochet stitch and then I go around the next one, yarn over. I'm going to bring my hook around the back and grab this. Instead of going like this around it, all I'm doing is reaching around the back and bringing it, putting my hook that way around the back of it. And then I'm completing a double crochet around that. So on the front side, it's still raised up like this because you want on the right side of your shawl to always have this ridge showing. And the way you get that is by working those back post double crochets like that. So then after you do that, you chain two, and then you double crochet in the chain two space, which is right here, just a normal double crochet. And then you chain two, and then you back post around the next two post stitches. So you just go around your first one and I'm in the back. I'm going, if you turn it, it looks like this. So that's what I'm doing in the back. I'm going to yarn over and bring that forward and then finish my double crochet there. And then same thing for this one. I'm going to go in the back and back post around that one. Chain two double crochet in the chain two space, chain two, and then again a back post. So I kind of turn it towards me. I'm going to wrap around the first one like this. I'm going to complete a double crochet like this. And then I'm going to turn it again. I'm going to, I want to go around the side of the next double crochet like that from the back. And then I'm going to complete the double crochet stitch like this. And then I'm going to chain two. I'm going to double crochet in the chain two space. Chain two. Again, work my back post double crochet. So I'm going to turn it towards me. I'm going to insert my hook around that double like that. And pull a loop up. And then finish the double like that and do that again, yarn over, go around the next double like this, bring the loop up, and then finish the double crochet like that, chain two, double in the chain two space, chain two, 
Again, work around those post stitches like that. Like that. And then chain two. Let me see what it says on the end here. Okay, so we are on, look how cool that looks in the back. Looks neat. Because this is the wrong side now. Okay, so now it says double crochet. You end with a chain two, which I did. And then it says to double crochet in the last stitch. So the last stitch again is that chain three turn. It was that chain, turning chain. So I'm going to go in the third chain of the turning chain and work a double crochet. There. Isn't that neat? Okay, now that's the end of row three. And now I chain three and turn. Like this. Now I'm on the right side. You can see how all those back posts made it all raised on this side. So now I chain three. And I'm going to do the same thing now. I'm going to cross front post. I'm going to work a cross front post over the next two stitches is what the directions say. So I've got my chain three here and I'm just going to go around this like this. I'm going to skip the first one and do a front post around this one. Then I'm going to go back and do a front post around the skip one like that. Okay, so then I am going to see what my directions say now. Okay, that's right. Okay, so then it says to chain two, double crochet in the next chain two space and chain two twice. So I'm going to do one, two, and now you see where I had a chain two and double before. Now I'm just going to double in the chain two space like this chain two again and then do that again. Double in the chain two space and chain two. So that's creating a little open web between the front post stitches and now I'm going to do the cross front post stitch again. So I'm going to skip this one, do a front post around this one. Then I'm going to go back to my skipped one right here and work a front post like that. And then I'm going to chain two Double in the chain two space twice, chain two again, double in the chain two space, chain two. Then I'm going to work a cross stitch over the cross stitch there. So there. And I go back to the skipped one like this. So then you chain two and you work up, uh, work a double in the chain two space chain two. You do that twice. Like that. And then now I'm going to work a cross stitch again. I'm going to skip this double and work a front post around this double. And then I'm going to go back to the skip double and work a front post around that one. Then chain two. And then I'm creating the little web in between them, in between the cross stitches. This is giving it more width. This keeps increasing. So now I have two double crochets between my front post stitches. And then I skip the next post stitch and I post around that one. And go back to the skip one and post around that one. There. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now um, it says to repeat from across and the it ends in a chain two.
No, it doesn't end in a chain two. It doesn't end in a chain two. So the repeat ends with your two um, post stitches there, your cross post stitch. And so you just double crochet in the top of your turning chain right there. And then you chain three and turn like this. And now for row five, you back post again around the um, post stitches. So I'm going to go in the back here and I'm going to post stitch around these. Okay, and then I'm going to chain two and double crochet in the chain two space across to the next um, front post, uh, post stitches. So now the pattern is going to have you double crochet in the chain two space, chain two all the way across to the post stitches. So now you notice on this row you had one double crochet with two chain two spaces. Now this one you have two, now this one you have three, so each one you're going to be adding a double crochet and a chain two space. So then you're going to do the back post around these back posts. And then you're going to chain two, and the same thing, you're going to double crochet and chain two across to the next group of post stitches. Okay, then you're going to post, back post double crochet around the next two post stitches. And then same thing, chain two, double crochet in the chain two space. And then now you're going to back post around the next two post stitches. Okay, looks pretty cool on this side. Okay, so then you double crochet in the chain two space, chain two, across to the next set. Then chain two, and then back post around the next two back post. And then double in the turning chain. So every row is a double crochet in the turning chain. That's the way it's been and it's a chain three turn. Okay, so now look, so pretty. I like this. So now on row, let me see what row we're on. One, two, three, four, five. We're on row six. So repeat rows five and six. So that was row five that I just did, and that's going to be the repeat row where you just double crochet chain two across to the post stitches, and that's the wrong side row. And then this row is going to be a pattern row two. So this on this row you're on the right side and all you're going to do is do the cross stitch on the right side and then you do the back post double crochets on when you're on the wrong side of the row. So you always know your right side because that's where these post stitches are most prominent on the outside. They create like this ridge and you don't have that on the wrong side. So now your right side row, this is going to be the pattern row, is just you skip the po first post stitch and you post front post around the next post stitch, 
the second one. Then you go back to the first one and you cross over and work a front post double crochet around the skipped one. And then you chain two and then it just says in the directions to chain two, double crochet in the chain two space, chain two across to the next um, post stitches. So um, you're going to double crochet in the chain two space and chain two and you'll notice now you're going to have four double crochets and five chain two spaces. It increases by one every row. So if that doesn't happen then you need to go back and fix whatever went wrong. Okay so now you see I had on the previous row I had one two three double crochet stitches now on this one I'm going to have four. So I'm going to have four in between each set of um, post stitches. So I skip one and I go in here work a post stitch and then I work a post stitch in my skipped post right there then same thing chain two double and chain two space chain two across you know now that just having these two pattern rows is nice because you can create this beautiful shawl once you get the hang of the pattern. You just have to remember those two round rows. So I'm on the right side. Whenever you're on the right side, you're doing the cross front post stitch. And when you're on the wrong side, you're doing the back post stitches. So your um, right now I'm on row six and your um, two rows of your two rows of edging are on rows 40 and 41. So I will have to be on the right side. I'll figure it out. But anyway, I want to show you how to do the edging next. Okay, this is my last. So those last two rows that I just showed you are the repeat rows. You know, instead of finding that um, third chain of the beginning chain three, you could just go into, wrap around it and go into it like I just did. Like you could just go underneath this thing right here. It'll be fine. Or you can find the the chain. And you may want to concentrate on chaining really loose so you don't have that problem like I just did. Okay, so that those are the repeat rows, and you just keep repeating rows five and six sixteen times more, and then you repeat row five one time. So then um, I'm going to set this up and I'll come back and I'll show you how the edging is done right here. So I suggest ending with pattern row 38 so that you're on the right side. Because right here on my sample I'm on row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so I'm in an even row. So you want to stop at an even row. 
because there's two rows of edging and I want you to land up with the last row on the right side. So this is the right side and so let's say you stop at row 38 instead of 39 and um, now I'm going to show you what to do um, for the last two rows. So I'm going to change the pattern a little bit and um, we'll have the changes listed in uh, wherever this is posted. So I want you to do the next row similar to what you have been doing but we're going to make a little bit of a change. So right here you're on the wrong side row here and you want to do two back, um, back post double crochets like you were doing on a wrong side row like that and then the next thing that's different is that you're going to chain two and work double crochet twice in each one of these chain two spaces. So you're going to chain two and double crochet and do that twice. One, two and double in this one. So we need to get a ruffle going on here. So chain two and same thing, do it twice in the next chain two space. And chain two. Same thing in the next one. Oh, I don't know why I keep dropping my loops off. So it's creating a little bit of a ruffle here now. So you do that all the way across to your post stitches. And then chain two. Okay, so if you look at this now, it's creating a ruffle because I've put two double crochet chain twos in each one of the chain two spaces. And then I just back post around the next two post stitches like this. And then I chain two again and do the same thing. Oh, I'm not doing that. Do two in each one. You know, I do a lot of moving my thumb in all different places to stabilize my stitches. If you really go in slow motion, see I put my thumb up here, then I'm up here to chain two, and then I'm back down here. Just watch this, my thumb movement. Okay, back post stitches here. Okay, I do the double crochet chain two in each space. I'm just going to hurry and then it'll probably take me longer because I'm hurrying. So I can show you the last row. This will be like a mini shawl for maybe an American Girl doll or something. Okay post stitches around the post stitches, the back post. You gotta do back post stitches. Okay, there's one, there's two, chain two,
Okay, now my last post stitches are right here. And I just double in the last turning chain right there. Oh, I still don't have loose chains on the side. I try to do them a little bit tight because I don't like, like them to kind of get baggy on the sides. But I'm just going to go in the space. Okay, now, on this you chain one and turn. It says to half double crochet in each stitch and two half double crochets in each space across. All right, so now the stitches would be your um, your double crochet in the end here. So half double crochet and half in the post stitches and then two halves in each chain one space. And then go in your stitches and then two in your spaces. Okay, so you just keep doing this all the way across and then this is what your shawl is going to look like. And really you could do a little one like this and have it be for um, your granddaughter or your daughter's doll or something. A Barbie doll, this would be perfect for a Barbie doll. And then you could keep going for a few more rows and do a bigger one for American Girl doll. I think it's really cute. So anyway, that's how you make the Luna Moth shawl. And in the end your border is going to look like this. And um, that's a nice project. I think it's beautiful. So this would be great to dress down with a pair of jeans or even, I love this color too, or um, just, you know, uh, or dress up. Uh, so this color was the silver fog and then the other one was petal pink that I was using in my sample. So I want to thank you very much for watching and the links to everything are listed below and please subscribe to our channel.